Hey crafters, Shalana here. How many of you guys have the envelope punch board? Well, I got one not too long ago and I've used it one time and I was looking for different um, creations that you can make with it. So I found these really cute uh, bag in the boxes. How about that? So when I'm thinking spring, I don't know about you here in Pennsylvania, we've had a lot of um, snow this winter. It's time for Easter, it's time for flowers, and it's time for a little bit of warmth. So I'm focusing on some things that you can make with your envelope punch board uh, for Easter or actually any other holiday. The possibilities are endless. Saw this on um, Sam Donald's website and uh, wanted to recreate uh, these little cuties as well. So I have this one. I use Close to My Heart uh, Mayberry paper, which is a retired paper. And this one I use Close to My Heart um, Lucy paper. Just thought it was great colors and, you know, some colors that make you really think spring with the flowers on it. So let's get started. You want to go ahead and get some um, pattern paper or cardstock that you like and cut that at six by six. This one is the Close to My Heart um, Ivy Lane paper, which is very pretty. Love the flowers on it and love the pattern on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Go ahead and get your envelope punch board ready and you wanna take out your I, don't, I guess you call this up there, um, bone folder that goes with it so that you can do some scoring. Go ahead and line it up at one and three eighths on your envelope punch board. And go ahead and punch. And then take your bone folder, slide against that groove, and go straight down the score line. Then you want to move it over to four inches and do the same thing. Now we're going to have to do this on all four sides. Keep it in mind we're not going to use the dimensions that I mentioned on the other three sides. We're going to use the score lines. So we're going to turn it around and then where you have that last score line, you're going to line it up with that the little hinge that's on your envelope punch board. You're going to punch and you're going to score. And then you're going to move it over to the next score line that is there from the first go round. You want to punch and score. Turn it over. You don't have too far of a ways to go to punch because, again, we're going by the score line. Line that little nook and cranner up. Punch and score. And then do the same thing when you get to the next score line. So depending on how busy your pattern paper is, um, you can use your finger. And that's what I'm doing because this is a busy piece of paper. Uh, some of the score lines I can see and then some of them I can't see so well. They sort of blend in. But I just find it with the, the tip of my finger. And I use that as my guide as well if you're having a difficult time. All right, so when you're done, it should look like this. And it's even on all four sides. Then you wanna go ahead, place your four corner edges in, and use the corner rounder on all four sides. And how about I didn't even know that was a corner rounder back there, so. So glad for, thankful for YouTube videos. All right. So you have your your score lines. You can go ahead and bend on your lines. That way you know where everything is going to be positioned as we're putting this together. Now when you look at this, you have this larger triangle and then you have the smaller triangle. Um, if you remember how it looks here, we have two flaps sort of folded up. So on the larger triangle end, you're going to take your scissors and cut to that first score line that you see in the center. So it's going to be four cuts, okay? And I like to um, 
de-stress. So I'm going to use some close to my heart chocolate ink and I'm going to go ahead and de-stress the edges. And because this is such a busy pattern paper, it'll be interesting to see if, if we're able to see it. But even when pattern paper is busy, I don't know. I just like the distress. It just gives me a, it gives it a different look. And for those of you who use Close to My Heart paper as well, um, it has a white core. So especially when you don't want the white core to show when you're cutting, you know, it's a great opportunity to use the inks that match perfectly with the paper. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was moving away from the camera. All right, and then go around this flap just a little more. Okay, now I'm going to use this as my outside. That's what um, whoever gets this gift is going to see, and then this is going to be the inside. So for these two smaller pieces, we're going to have the flaps um, adhered like this. That's going to be the outside edge. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the, the side I want to show and just put some adhesive on those two smaller flaps. And then I'm going to fold them in. All right. And then these two are actually your handle. So if you have a lot of punches, you might have a whole bunch of different types of um, shapes. I don't have too many punches, um, but I do have a, what do you call it? A circle punch that was Creative Memories. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my three quarter inch circle punch and line it up, not to go over the score line, and go ahead and make that as my handle. So now I have my handle, okay? And then I'm gonna take my um, blue dots, the smaller ones, and then I'm just gonna put one right on the corner of this flap. Cause that is the part that's gonna adhere to the outside. We're gonna bring up those four flaps and that's gonna be our construction of the box. All right, and then you want to do, go ahead and line up the corner with the bottom. You see what we're doing? And then you want to turn it over and do the same thing on this side. How cute is this? So see how simple that is. And they're not too big. They're great for an Easter egg. So I had some Easter eggs sitting around getting ready for Easter. Um, you can put tons of different things in there. Easter egg fits in there perfect. Uh, you can put some candies. You know, the possibilities are endless with this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I use some flowers. I already have mine punched. And I have um, some little bitty sparkles in the center and then I use my word punch uh, from Stampin' Up which I love this is like my absolute favorite punch uh, to make the little tag that I'm going to use to stamp Easter um, if you have a smaller flower because these are small you're going to need something that your flower isn't too big I mean you could put a, a bigger one if you wanted to but I use this which is also a creative memories punch that I have and it has a cute small flower on there. So I took my flower just to give you an example. I cut it out, I punched it out, looked like that. And then I took my um, piercing tool and I just used the round edge and bent it down, which was a really cool 
um, tip that Sam Donald, who is the person that um, did a YouTube tutorial for this bag in a box, did. And I love it. Great idea. So I did that. That gave me a little rounding effect. And then I went ahead and de-stressed the edges with Smoothie Cotton Candy and Sunset um, ink. And then I put my little my little um, bitty sparkle in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and take a glue dot and get the flowers positioned on here. And then I look for a small sentiment and I was able to find one I had that said Easter. It's really small and it came from this stamp set which is Save the Date stamp set. It's an older stamp set which has all the different holidays on there, dates. You can do some invitations. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I'm going to grab, mm, what color should I use? I'm going to use, huh. How about some smoky plum? I like smoky plum. And I think it'll go well with the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up my stamp. The Easter. How cute is that? Love it. And that is going to be our little tag for the front. So you can get creative with how you want your front to look. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place that right here. That is adorable. And then you can get some ribbon. If you have some ribbon, you can tie some ribbon through. I'm going to use some close to my heart um, seam binding ribbon. The great thing about this ribbon, it's this color white but you can actually take it and it's color ready you can put it in any color close to my heart ink, close to my heart ink that you have and it will make it the color of um, the ink that you're you're running it through I'm not good at tying bows at all I have a lot of great talents this is not one of them but I'm gonna try and tie this on camera for you all and at least make it look decent. See? All right. So I got a little something going on here. Let's see how this looks. And I'm going to cut this off. All right. So here we have it. Cute little bag in a box. So we have one, two, three of these little cute little bags in the box that you can use. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Looking for other ways to use your envelope punch board. Um, there's tons of tutorials out there on YouTube and ideas on Pinterest. Hope you enjoyed and I would love to see yours if you make any. Have a great day.